And speaking of South Africa, the president of Sudan, Omar Al Bashar, was there for the AU summit last week and he was detained for like two hours at the airport. You know, a lot of people actually believe that South Africa was trying to arrest him and deliver him to the ICC, you know, for the genocide in Darfur that killed like 400,000 people and displaced millions of people, only for us to hear that South Africa had released the man. <laughs> and then he got a royal welcome back to his country, Sudan. You know, there were rumors that Sudan held South African soldiers in Sudan, the ones that were there for the peacekeeping, as hostages until Al Bashar was released in South Africa. But South African government has denied that story. Now, what bothered me the most? Hey! was uh, finding out that when he got back to his country, his own people, they not only gave him a royal welcome when he came back, but some of them were saying that they're willing to shed their blood and give their lives for this president. I said, hey! No wonder they say that evil prevails mainly because good people do nothing. You are willing to give your life for a president that doesn't care about you. You will spill your own blood for all ah, my people of Sudan. Ah, why not? Why? The moment you are willing to spill your blood, you are basically saying that this guy is a god. No, be so. I'm really looking forward though to justice for the victims of the Darfur genocide because I've personally met some of them and if they tell you some of the horrible things that are done to them, oh my god, I was literally crying. Now, I'm looking forward to justice for these victims, but as much as I'm looking forward to justice in Sudan, I'm also waiting for the day that ICC would issue an arrest warrant for people like George Bush of the US uh, for war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan that has left about 1 million people dead and caused hunger, disease, fear, and chaos that have displaced more than 4 million people. I did not be so. They went to Iraq saying they saw weapons of uh, mass. What did they say they found in Iraq? They found weapons of mass destruction. Till now, we have not seen any of those weapons. And about 1 million people were killed, including American soldiers. When would ICC do something about this? Must it always be African presidents that you will go after? Eh? The truth is, the day ICC will do that people will actually respect them but you guys know that i don't know anything guess what i'm just keeping it real